Hey guys, this is my part one for the fire guide. I'm going to make two parts. The first one will talk about talents, opener, stuff like that. And then the second part will just be looking at a, like a, a VOD of myself on a dummy, just talking about the different things that can happen. Uh, as a preface, fire is very, very hard to dissect into a guide to make it really like, you know, optimal. Um, so instead, I'm just going to cover really bare bone basics in this video. And then I'll go into like the more really detailed stuff in the next one. Um, as for talents, this is what you're going to run. Pretty standard. None of these points are actually any good. On the right side is all useless. You never play Flame Strike. Improved Scorch is not really good. It's okay in Execute, but it's less DPS overall. Phoenix Reborn is okay on AoE, but like not really. Tinder's ass. Hyperthermia is like bad. Everything here is. I mean, Hyperthermia is not bad. I shouldn't say that. It actually has a very viable build, but most people don't play it. Um, Kotar is the main one. If you really want to play Cauterize for a single target, you would drop Call of the Sun King. And for AoE or like Cleave situations, you drop one point of Fire Mind, right? You can still pass like this. But yeah, if you don't want to play Cauterize, you don't need to. Um, obviously, Double Lust, nothing crazy. So, main like things to keep in mind for Fire is whenever you're playing, you always have to predict the status of your next like heating up slash pyro or like your hot streaks, you know? So I know if I'm casting here, I'm going to pyro pyro because I know both of them are going to crit. Sorry for the cat noise, it's a weak card. Um, same thing with Scorch, right? As long as you queue up the Scorch, they're both, you're going to get to cast both. So you're always predicting stuff, right? You're always predicting what your next hot streak will be or where it's going to come from. You're always predicting what your next cast is. Uh, other stuff to talk about is SKB, right? You need to cast Pyroblast before the buff ends. You get a mini combust. Nothing crazy. Um, I'll go into this in more, a bit more detail. Lastly, there's a buff called Pyroclasm. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. It empowers your Pyro. You just hard cast Pyro. People ask me, is it good to cast in Combustion? It is good to cast in Combustion, but there are some nuances to it that I'll cover in the next part. A lot of nuances to it. It's very hard talent to play with. Um, yeah. Rune of Power, we just cast for our Combustions like... You know, am I going to get six seconds of combust with SKB? I am always, right? So you can always run the power before your SKBs. But sometimes you're in combust and you have rune up. If your combustion is more than like seven, eight seconds left, you can just cast rune there instead of SKB because, you know, eight seconds of combust is more than six seconds of combust. Nothing super fancy. Um, obviously, an execute scorch is good instead of fireballing. Uh, what else? Fire starter, guaranteed crit above 90%, which is what is perfect for the opener, which is a great segue to go into what the opener actually is. So for your opener, what you're going to do is you're going to precast. This is like a log on Taros. This is a pug. I got like rank nine with no PI, rank 10 actually, sorry. Uh, and the opener is just this. You precast your pyroblast before the fight. You double lust. Somebody else lusted here, so it doesn't show me as double lusting, but double lust. And then in your double lust, you're basically just going to be casting your pyro blasts and you're going to dump all your fire blast charges. Obviously do a rune first, right? So l double lust rune or rune double lust, whatever. Um, and then you're going to spam pyros and fire blasts. Just get rid of all your fire blast charges straight away. Go back to zero. So, you know, precast pyro, rune, double lust, fire blast pyro, fire blast pyro, fire blast pyro, shifting power, refresh your, like, you know, use one charge of fire blast. Otherwise you're going to cap charges. And then you're going to keep repeating that. Fire Blast Pyro, Fire Blast Pyro, until you get to six SKB stacks. I got a Pyroclasm here, so don't worry about this one. If you get one, you can cast one if you really want. Um, otherwise, save it for your Combust if you have two. I got two, that's why. Uh, but yeah, just Fire Blast until you get to six SKB stacks. Once you're at six SKB stacks, you're going to do one Fireball, Fire Blast Pyro, which unfortunately is not shown here. But you know, Fireball, Fire Blast Pyro, Pyro, that'll put you at eight SKB stacks. Once you're at 8 SKB stacks, you're going to go into your Combust. Ignore this little oopsie. <laughs> uh, I did, you do a, a Pyroblast, Combust, Fireblast, Pyro, right? I have a heating up here. Um, the reason this matters is because something really important that a lot of people don't know about, that maybe, well, so maybe they don't know about. When you press Combustion, it gives you 12 seconds of Combust. What it really does is it sets your Combust to 12 second duration. So what I mean by that is if you have six seconds of combust already active and then you press combust, 
it will just delete six seconds of combust because it will just set it to 12, which is combust's natural duration. Instead, if you add combustion time by getting an SKB, you know, by using an SKB in your combust, it will actually just add six seconds. So to summarize, never combust, like never press combustion while you have combustion up, but you can always add SKB combustions into combustion. So instead here, what you see is I'm casting my pyroblast for SKB, but I combust before the cast ends. So this combust activates and then SKB finishes. This way I save time, right? I'm not casting this in combust, I'm casting it before combust. Okay. I had to switch the log here a little bit just so it's a little bit more accurate representing. Um, as for your actual combust, once you like really get into it, it's not that complicated. You're basically just going to be rotating your fire blast with your pyro blasts. Um, what I like to do is I like to try to get to an even number of SKB stacks. So you'll see here the supply is one, two, right? You'll always get two off the first one. At this point here, once you're at two, you can either go into your like fireball, fire blast, pyro, pyro rotation. So you're always working in twos, right? Easier to get to eight simply. Or instead, what I did here, for example, was I kind of just pumped out my fire blast pyros. And then after my sec, like after I got to four again, then I did like fireball, fireball, pyro, pyro, fireball, fire blast, pyro, pyro. I don't advise this too much just because the feel of the burn is really clutch. Like I did clip it in time, but I had like 0.2 seconds left when I clipped it. I would recommend just as soon as you get to two, just do your fireball, fire blast, pyro, pyro. Just keep repeating that, right? So it's like, for example, it's like over here. Right, so this is one, this is two, fireball, fire blast, pyro, pyro, fireball, fire blast, pyro, pyro. You know, you just keep doing that. And then eventually you'll get to eight, right? So this is two, four, six, eight, and then you go into your pyro blast. If you do get a pyroclasm before two SKB stacks, you can send it. But after two, you should hold it until your SKB, so you can combine them together. But also if you do end up saving it and then you get a second one, you kind of just have to send it. But when you're sending it, it's the same concept, right? It's just the fireball is essentially just becoming a pyroblast. So you're still going to do pyroblast, fireblast, pyro, pyro. Yeah, and you're going to keep repeating that. And then, yeah, that, that's basically your combust. You might ask, why, where are your phoenix limbs, right? Why are you not phoenix limbsing? The reason we know phoenix limbs is because of this talent over here called From the Ashes, which basically says that for each fire, for each Phoenix Flames charge that is like available to you, you get extra mastery. So you don't really want to be using Phoenix Flames as much. Now that's not always. The rule is, if your combustion has 10 seconds or left remaining, including any more like extra chained combustions, then you do not Phoenix Flames. Once there's less than 10 seconds, you can start Phoenix Flamesing. What I like to do instead is I like to just basically start Phoenix Flamesing when I'm on my last like SKB. You know, when I when I do an SKB in Combust and I know I'm not going to get any more like the chain on, that's when I'm okay to Phoenix Flames, right? Just putting one on cooldown is even good enough. But you can keep doing that. Drop your rune when you can. Um, usually you can actually fit your runa power before this SKB, but in this log specifically, I didn't get the chance to do that, so I had to drop it afterwards. As long as you're getting six seconds of your combustion or more out of your runa power, it's okay. If it's in double us, you can even do it at five seconds because you have more GCDs. Um, but yeah, the idea is like your rune is for your SKB. SKB is six seconds of combust, but if you're gonna get more than that with your combust, then you know it makes more sense to drop it earlier. The next thing I want to show is to talk about SKB sequences. Now, SKB sequences are like pretty scripted and you'll basically do them every time. You have heating up SKBs and you have non-heating up SKBs. What that means is basically what is your current status when you're actually casting your pyroblast, like, you know, for your SKB. If you don't have a heating up during it, then you do your non-heating up SKB, which will basically be pyroblast into Scorch Fire Blast Pyro Pyro, right? Because this is one heating up, this is two heating up, and you, you know, so you're gonna get another one, it's gonna proc. This is also heating up, so that's how you generate this. It's this one plus this one into this one. But anyway, yeah, so Pyro Blast, Scorch Fire Blast Pyro Pyro. 
Fire Blast Pyro, Phoenix Flame Pyro. What I want to show here is let's count the number of instant cast pyros we do. We do one, two, three, four. We do four instant cast pyros. Okay, let's remember that. For non-heating up SKB, you get four instant cast pyros that fit in combust. As for heating up SKBs, I kind of just generate them here. You have two variations. One variation is where you do not have, like, um, is where you already have three feel the burn. If you are in the three feel the burn, the good idea is basically you just, uh, this fire blast here is like, I, I kind of like forced it to be a heating up SKB. You don't actually do this normally. But you basically would pyro blast and then you fire blast pyro before the cast ends. You fire blast pyro and then obviously you pyro again. Since we already have three feel the burn, you can Phoenix Flame Pyro, Fire Blast Pyro, Fire Blast Pyro. You can do this. But most of the time, you won't have three feel the burn. If you don't have three feel the burn, where is the thing that got cut off? If you don't have feel the three feel the burn, that's weird. What you would do is you would actually just do an extra Fire Blast Pyro before your Phoenix Flame. So you would just do Pyro Blast, Fire Blast Pyro, Pyro. Fire Blast Pyro, Phoenix Flame Pyro, Fire Blast Pyro, right? So these two over here would just be swapped with these two over here. So these two would be inside here, and then these two would be like after. The main difference is just like, you know, how early you're spending your Phoenix Flames. Honestly, very minor difference. You can do it any way around. But definitely, like, this is not the default. I, I, was, I wish the other one showed up. I don't know why it didn't show up. But the default is where you do Pyro Blast. Fire Blast Pyro, Pyro, Fire Blast Pyro, Phoenix Limp Pyro, Fire Blast Pyro. That's the heating up SKB. Yeah. On to part two.